Good evening, everyone. This is Voices from Water Citizen. I'm Karalu. Today I'm with Victor. Did I pronounce your name right? Victor. Victor. Okay.、Um, would you like to introduce yourself first? Sure.、Uh, my name is Victor Mavile. I'm French. I'm a photographer, and I live in Shanghai for the last seven years.、Mm. And what did you do in Shanghai? Uh, for the last seven years. Yeah. So I arrived so seven years ago. Start working in the photography industry.、Uh, started as assistant and then freelancing since the, for the last six years. And what keep you、uh, live in Shanghai for so long? Well, the first years, I guess, it was the opportunities that was coming here. I really like the city as well.、Mm-hmm. The all the people we met here, which come from all around the world and、uh, yeah, from very different background.、Mm-hmm. Um, and I think yeah, professionally, definitely, China and Shanghai is a, a place to be in the economic world. So there was like yeah. Mm-hmm. Many opportunities, and it was a very good place to to be at this time and still now. I see. And、uh, what will be the main challenge for you living here? <laughs> That's a good question. <laughs> no complain too much. <laughs>、uh, well, I'll try. No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding.、Mm-hmm. I would say is the ad- the lifestyle. Actually, the lifestyle. It can be really, really easy and pleasant. Should、mm-hmm. I look at the camera? Or should, should I look at you? It's okay. okay. <laughs> in the mirror. You can look at the mirror.、Uh, the lifestyle. So yeah, the lifestyle is sometimes、uh, very pleasant, very easy. You just, you just grab your scooter, you go to the fun station, you go to the brand, then you go party, blah blah blah.、Mm-hmm. It's kind of easy, but at the same time, it's like a, a microcosm. What's that? Microcosm. 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 I didn't get it. It's like it. a small world you,、ah. ne- you never get out of. I see. And whenever you want to leave Shanghai, you,、uh, you need to leave. You need to take a flight somehow or take a train, but you need to leave for at least three or four days. You know, if you just leave for the weekend, it's like so short. You, you don't have any time to, to enjoy. So it feels like a little bit trapped. Mm-hmm. And the lack of nature and the lack of、uh, yeah the healthy lifestyle is sometimes difficult to get here. I feel and、um, and yeah so too much city city for you too much of city city、uh-huh. and also like yeah so this is why I think like to to live、uh, happy in Shanghai is good to be able to live every. Months every two months for one week. Okay,、least. okay, and、uh, so culture-wise, you don't find any difficulties or challenge because you think it's a、uh, it's pretty international. You didn't really find a hard time to get. Yes, of course, there is some hard time here. Uh huh. But、um, in a way, it's fun. You know, I really take it as, as a game.、Uh, Yeah, I think doesn't really matter here because I'm not home. You know, when I, when you're home and you get some issue, you feel like it's more、um, related or connected. Yeah, it's more complicated here.、Mm-hmm. You know, it's kind of just like、uh, you know, it's I think it's easy to switch. You know, to、um, to get away to get away from it. I mean,、mm-hmm. not get away, but basically like the sometimes is. Complicated to make to make things happen, but、mm-hmm. it's possible to make things happen.、Mm-hmm. In France, I think is、uh, much harder sometimes,、mm-hmm. but、uh, it's it's very different, you know. Like、uh, I think here, if you if you fight, you can you can get what you what you expect.、Mm-hmm. And、uh, what is the most thing you learned for these seven years living in Shanghai? Uh, I learn、um, a job. So, job like a skills. Yeah, skills. So before I was just a very、uh, beginner and a very bad photographer, and I came here and、uh, I, I don't know if I can say that I'm a very good photographer, but at least I'm、uh, good in my job. Uh-huh. Uh, and also I learn.、Um, yeah, and more than a job, also it's.、Uh, It's a new way of life that I really learn from here, and that、uh, I could、uh, become a freelancer, some sometimes an, an artist, and、uh, but also work for commercial. So 
Mm -hmm. It's very different from um, any uh, like uh, office job I used to get to have before. Mm -hmm. Now I'm like, a, yeah, also I'm an entrepreneur in a way because I'm again my own company. I'm dealing with clients. I'm trying to develop my my uh, offers, my product. I'm trying to bring uh, innovation, uh, do some investments. So it's really like entrepreneurship. Mm -hmm. uh, trying to find the right person to partner with, to work with, etc. So it's like very, um, it's at the same time very business related and at the same time very artistic. Mm -hmm. This is what I like about what I do. I see, I see. Yeah. And uh, during this pandemic, where were you and what have you been experienced? So I think I've been um, pretty lucky. So it's, it was um, a matter of timing. I went to France uh, mid-January -gen mm -hmm. uh, and a few days later or a few weeks later the pandemic started to, uh, to rise in China. So at this time I was in France, I was not really worried about myself mm -hmm. and I, was, um, I went to Australia mid-February to mid-March for a personal documentary mm -hmm. and I was supposed to go back to France but actually during this one month, the pandemic was developing more in France than China. China is uh, good for controlling everything it's, and pandemic as well. Um, so it was there was no way I, I would go back to France because pandemic was getting crazy. And uh, so I went to Taiwan for a few days just to see how things happen. And I, I decided to go back to Shanghai. Uh, and then I. According to myself, even if I didn't have to, I just spent like yeah, 14 days at home, almost not going out, just like a couple of times to buy some uh, supply. But yeah, anyway, uh, I didn't suffer very much of it. Of course, a little bit of uh, anxiety, like many people, mm -hmm. but I didn't have much um, issue. Mm -hmm. with the uh, epidemic, just yeah, worry about the family, worry about the, what's happening on the news, but yeah. But uh, do you think uh, uh, the world changed the before and after the pandemic? Or the way you look at things changed because of this, like before and after, it's different? Well, it changed probably a little bit. Uh, when something like this happened, I think everybody think that oh, after it's gonna be so different. We're gonna be so, uh, so uh, yeah, the world is gonna change. Our our mentality are gonna change, and probably our mentality are gonna change a little bit. Mm -hmm. But what changed, I think, is that we are even most more than before uh, relying on uh, our telephone and on digital mm -hmm. even more than before. Mm -hmm. uh, and we were already relying a lot before, so this is a, a, a next step in the in the in the thing. Mm -hmm. Also, worldwide, we see that uh, uh, the, what we thought be the most developed country are actually the less developed country in the way they organize themselves, in the way they behave as an individual and as a group. Uh, and also about the digital era, it shows also like how much we we kind of are connected to each other through this uh, social media thing, etc. Mm -hmm. uh, but also how we kind of uh, react mm -hmm. more by emotion, emotion more by the more by the thinking. And I mm -hmm. think is that over the last decade and it's going to be worse and worse like we are uh, very much uh, in the moment and sharing our feelings and our emotion but not too much in the in the thinking and taking time to analyze things mm. actually um if I didn't remember wrong, the personal project you did in Australia is about nature and the human, right? Because you are recording documentary the the wildfire happened in Australia. Exactly. I, I yeah. was I was documenting the bushfires in Australia. Mm -hmm. so I spent one month. Uh, so just following the bushfire, our uh, bushfires end up like uh, early February mm -hmm. and arrive like uh, 10 days later. Mm -hmm. uh, so yeah, I was documenting, it was between documentary and some uh, 
conceptual project um, about uh, so the bushfire first and also the relationship between man and nature and uh, it was a super interesting project and I met a lot of person and it was very interesting so the person I, I met most of the time they lost their home and they, they're living in a, a bit far away from cities and they have a very different way to analyze the climate change, the social problem, their own problem is much more, um, I would say, um, quiet and what happened happened, you know, they are like, yeah, it's okay, we will rebuild, this is, you know, this is the life and we will learn from that and we will keep, keep going and at the same time when I see what's happening on the social media, people get crazy for something not even happening so mm -hmm. this is very uh, di very different mindset so it was interesting to to meet those people who lost some lost almost everything they had mm -hmm. but keeping this very positive attitude and stuff like this so yeah it was a uh, it was i mean for me it was a beautiful trip uh, i met uh, and, yeah. mm. and uh, do you think it's all the the virus issue it's also reflect uh, the relationship between nature and the human being because I was watching this uh, report this morning saying actually there is 100, uh, 1 1.5 million to 3 million of the you know different uh, I forgot what's the name the virus like we are mm. still unknown like uh, and we only know like about uh, 500,000 so far so this could be happened uh, in future time, more and yeah. more often yeah and do you think it's related it's also a nature and a human being yeah, of Relation. course. I, I think it's uh, uh, yeah the way. I mean, if you see the last uh, few virus, which was uh, SARS or so, and, mm -hmm. uh, and uh, COVID, it all come from uh, the way we treat uh, animals. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'm not vegan, I'm not vegetarian, but definitely the um, the way we um, we are. Uh, Sorry, God dish. Uh -huh. The way we are uh, industri industrializing our uh, food process mm -hmm. is, uh, is not right and you know like uh, yeah like the industry of uh, pork and chicken and stuff like this create every year like uh, very new viruses you know because they use too much of the uh, antibiotic and blah, blah blah and what they eat is not, but I mean, there's also a record saying it's probably it's a global warming yeah. thing so there is you know those asian virus which was affecting yeah. the whole system maybe start from you know wild animals and then gradually they will find some way to invade human beings. Well, I'm really not a scientist, so I cannot yeah. talk any, anything about it. But if you just look back, mm -hmm. all the virus, all the virus that happened in the last uh, decade or even centuries are coming from the way we treat animals. You know, I think yeah. were, the Spanish flu, I think, was coming from the the US? the chicken and stuff like this. No, the chicken. I know chicken. Per I don't know. I don't I'm know, not sure. I that. thought it's. Uh, I even confuse why it's called the Spanish flu because it's not really starts from uh, Sp know. Spain, right? No idea. Uh, and it's, uh, the, during Second World War, there was also the like most recently in Europe the the crazy cow. I don't know how we say it in English, but you know where it was the British beef that was contaminated and Crystal Jacob. Mm -hmm. uh, then the south and things like that. Yeah, I think yeah. I mean. It's coming from uh, a way we we are a bit too aggressively use the, the nature. Mm -hmm. But uh, yeah, I mean, uh, this probably come from this. After I'm not scientist. I'm just like a, it's just like a Your general opinion. opinion yeah, and, uh, yeah. Yeah. and last question: yeah. Do you believe in world citizen and how you define world citizen? World citizen? Yeah. Well, uh, I think world citizen could be explain or told as a consciousness that we need to yeah to be conscious that there is a global uh, challenges mm -hmm. and that is not just our uh, own uh, national uh, target or individual uh, goals and so it's more like yeah uh, things are connected so i guess um, 
what's happening in China is uh, influencing what's happening in the world. We, we saw it with uh, COVID. Mm -hmm. uh, what's happening in France is influencing the world. And every, we are all connected with our lifestyle and with the economy, etc., etc., with the digital. So we are more than ever connected all around the world. So yeah, in a way, we are all. Uh, Connected. Yeah, connected to through all of this, mm -hmm. and uh, yeah, yeah, and I think also we yeah we we know what happened everywhere in the world right now. I mean, not everywhere, but we are we are aware of many many things uh, that we did we were not before. So I think that changed a lot of our, of our perception, and the global warming is going to be part of it uh, very quickly, I guess, and uh, yeah, it's going to be like uh, on the Mm -hmm. topics. Mm -hmm. I see. Thank you very much for taking this interview and thank you for watching. See you next time.